grade six. Here is me, your new health and action teacher. And my name is Sam. It's very easy to spell because there are S A M. All together, Sam. So now try to pronounce my name. Come on, say Sam. Say hello, teacher Sam. Come on, guys. Don't hesitate. Okay. So now, just I am going to tell you a little bit about myself. So, and the most important information is where I am from. And I am from the biggest country in the world. And the, the, uh, and the country is called Russia. Do you know Russia? Uh, surely you know Russia. So, and you know Russia, this is called uh, the capital is Moscow, and my place is not Moscow, probably as you thought. So, my place is here. It's called Orenburg. This is a small city, very cozy, silent, and just flawless place to live very calm life. Okay, guys. So, now tell me where I am from. Huh? Come on. Have you remembered? Russia. Good job. So, now let's have some warming up activities. Everybody, stand up. Stand up, stand up. Come on, stand up, stand up. Okay, everybody has stood up. Now let's have our warming up activity. So, everybody get your hands ready. First, shake your hands. Come on. Shake your hands, shake your hands, shake your hands, shake your hands. Faster, 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 faster. Done. Okay. Now, everybody get your hands up. And get your hands down. Get your hands up. Get your hands down. Get your hands up. Down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, now everybody round your head like this. Left. And right. And left. And right. Left. Right. Okay, not bad. So, that's enough. Now, everybody sit down. Sit down, sit down, sit down. So guys, as far as we have the coronavirus pandemic, I couldn't fail reminding that a very important moment of keeping safe. And first moment is, I'm sure you know that, but I will repeat it once again. So, first moment, wash your hands very carefully, like this. Okay, second one. Guys, it's important. It's very important. Don't forget to wear your masks. Like this. Here is the mask. Here is the mask. Huh? Recognize it. So, put it on and we're safe. Good. And the last one. Keep social distance. Don't come too close to people. Stay away. Here you go. So, now you got the basic principles. Let's go to our lesson. So guys, this lesson is called the reproductive system. So, once again, the reproductive system. Now, let's get down to our books. So take your books, this one. Take your books, this one. 
and open it on the page 8. And here we go. A uh, human's reproductive system consists of uh, external and internal parts. External parts. What's external parts? External parts, those are located outside. And internal parts, they are located inside. So, first reproductive system, which we will consider, is male reproductive system. It consists of the next elements. Here we go. So, here we can see seminal vesicle, prostate gland, epididymis, testis, plural is testis, just don't confuse it, okay? Testis. Scrotum, this part, penis, and urethra. But what's reproductive system? Why it is needed for? Um, all living beings have, uh, have to reproduce themselves to keep their species alive. So, and humans' reproductive system is completely sufficient for uh, keeping alive our kind. So, now let's consider uh, internal reproductive system. So, male's internal reproductive system consists of next parts. Those are the testes, epididymis, vas deferens, seminal vesicles, and the prostate gland. The testes are responsible for producing specific male reproductive cells, called sperm, and as well as it's responsible for generating a specific male hormone that gives us distinct uh, characteristics from females. Those are like um, our moustache, beard, and surely our strengths. <laughs> okay, let's go next. And our next point is female reproductive system. Female reproductive system also includes external and internal parts. So, let's consider more attentively external parts. And it includes only Vulva. So, internal female reproductive system. It consists of the next parts. The ovaries, oviducts, uterus, uterine lining, cervix, and vagina. Now, let's consider more attentively ovaries as the most important part of female reproductive system. So, uh, the ovaries are responsible for producing specific female reproductive cells called eggs. An ovary will produce one egg every 28-30 days. And if the egg doesn't join with the sperm, it breaks down and when a menstruation occurs and it leaves uh, the female's body through the vagina. Also, the ovaries are responsible for producing specific female hormone, which gives uh, the, to females a specific characteristics as a wider hips and developed chest. So, now a little bit about how to keep your reproductive system healthy. It's very important, and there is nothing to be shy about, guys, it's okay. Why is it important? So, how do you think? Is it important to brush your teeth? Or to wash your hands? Or maybe even to wear the mask to protect yourself of the coronavirus? As well as it's important 
to keep your reproductive system healthy. And what measurements can we undertake to keep it healthy? First, and the most important, is to, is to avoid sexual contacts at school. Come on, guys. It goes without saying. So, the next one. Clean the, uh, clean the sexual organs when you're taking a shower. So, this is very important as well. Wear clean and dry underwear and the underwear hasn't to be too tight. Really, this is elementary work. Do not, I repeat, do not share your underwear and personal items with other persons. It's very bad trait. Never do it. Never. Check for any problems of your sexual organs. If you're experiencing some problems, or maybe you just think that you may have some problem, just ask your parents for help and they will take you to see a doctor. This is important and there is nothing to be shy about. Uh, when girls have the monthly period, they should have their sanitary items and change them every three or four hours. And the last one, and probably the simplest one, to avoid injuries of your sexual organs. Just don't hit them and it's going to be okay. So guys, good job. Thank you if you were listening to me so attentively and so carefully. So try to memorize the materials and repeat the lesson a few times. Everything what I'm saying and showing you on the screen is important and will be required on testing. So guys, thank you for your attention. We'll, I will see you next time with great pleasure and have a nice one.